Hi, my name is Anila Asghar and I am an assistant professor at the School of Education at Johns Hopkins University. Before coming to the US, I was involved in education reform in Pakistan and then I got my doctorate uh, focusing on science education and cognitive development uh, in the US. I also did post-doctoral post fellowship focusing on the interactions among science, religion, culture and education. I've been in North America for the past 10 years and I've been involved in science education reform. Uh, I've been looking at you know the various models of conflict transformation and peace studies. I've also been in, engaged in cognitive and emotional development and most recently at Johns Hopkins University I've been focusing on STEM education. I am very interested and I'm fascinated by the ideas that people, you know, have about the natural world around them and the explanations that they construct about them, the ideas that they bring to a science classroom and how those ideas change as they engage in scientific inquiries and activities. So I have been studying their ideas and how they change through education. At Johns Hopkins University, I have been primarily working with science teachers. Uh, and uh, we are looking at uh, how teachers develop content knowledge and content pedagogic knowledge so that they can teach science effectively in their own classrooms. Uh, the goal is to uh, increase teachers' curiosity in science and to help them to spark their students' interest and imagination in science. I think the, the, the inter-university collaboration that I have witnessed and experienced here at Johns Hopkins makes it really unique uh, because we, we have developed various in innovative collaborative models uh, where you know, faculty members from different schools are coming together to think about uh, different education models uh, to improve the quality of science and mathematics and STEM education in the US. I'm very interested to look at the views and perceptions of Muslim scientists, students, and teachers about evolution and how they make sense of it in relation to their religious beliefs uh, of creation and origin of life. So we have been uh, conducting an international study uh, to, to, to get to know how scientists, teachers, and students understand evolution from various Muslim societies and cultures around the world. I'm conducting research on developing effective models of STEM education, looking, looking at their impact on teacher development, and then how teachers can effectively implement these STEM modules and curricula in their own classrooms. Uh, we are also looking at uh, how teachers develop leadership capacities and abilities to help their colleagues to improve their learning and teaching in science. We want to develop, as I said earlier, effective models of STEM education, and we want to see how they contribute to student achievement, not only their academic achievement, but how they might promote their interest in science, technology, mathematics, and engineering, how they might promote their interest as well as their, their self-concept and self-esteem and their confidence in, in themselves as, as learners. And we've been working with many teachers, in-service teachers from local school districts, and their response has been very positive. And they are very talented, they are very interested in implementing quality science instruction in their classrooms. So I am actually quite encouraged by my work with them.